pretty nice view of Manila Bay here from Shore Residences in the city of Pasay. This is pretty close to the Naya International Airport and uh, Mall of Asia. So very close to Ikea, Mall of Asia, very cool view of Manila Bay. And uh, yeah, the view is what you see. On this side, the view is kind of a little bit, uh, a nice cut of the city right here if we kind of just zigzag this way and say so some greenery. Yeah. It's not bad at all. It's a pretty cool view, to be perfectly honest. Here's my face, <laughs> just messing around. So this place has a garbage room on every level, not a trash chute, which is a little bit different. A trash chute, you put it in and it goes all the way down to the ground floor. A garbage room is just a uh, centralized room where there's big bins, I believe, where you basically just put your garbage in those bins in the garbage room. So less likelihood of pests because, uh, well, not really, to be honest. Uh, there's a little bit less likely to have pests when there's a garbage room, but because uh, uh, the pests might concentrate in that room instead of your condo unit. But uh, yeah, so I would say a little bit like uh, reduced reduced risk of pests. Uh, probably in between not having a shoe and having a shoe, so definitely better than nothing, that's for sure. And uh, I think, what's going on? You want to be in the vlog? <laughs> so me and I are going to go to a buffet after this. Super excited for that. Uh, you don't have to worry about clothes next. We're going to have a uh, but yeah, naturally, I made a mistake on the way here and I booked the wrong, I booked the right place and I thought I had booked the wrong place and it turns out the right place was correct. So we ended up having to take another grab to go from sea residences back to shore residences, but here we are. So once again, this is a pretty cool view of Manila Bay and uh, as far as what the unit has to offer, you've got to be willing to have a smaller space if you want this location. Worth noting that there was a unfurnished one balcony, uh, like studio slash one bedroom type, just like this for 18,000, which was about 7,000 less. I was not able to schedule a viewing of that unit, but the person did get back to me saying it was available. We just couldn't line up our schedules so I could be able to actually see it and include it in the vlog. So picture this place unfurnished for 18,000. Uh, that'd be a pretty good deal because the location is very good. 18,000 is on uh, 323 US dollars per month right now as of the currency conversion exchange, etc. But uh yeah, so uh, I think the 18,000 unfurnished would be more attractive than, to me than the 25,000 furnished, but I did want to just look at this and get a feel for it. So I'm gonna ask the leasing agent if we can take a look at the amenities. I didn't get a chance yet to take a video of the lobby when you first walk in, but the lobby is very nice. Downstairs, there's a Starbucks and a bunch of restaurants within walking distance, literally a one minute walk from the entrance of this place. There's literally all of these restaurants just built like into the building. So as far as shopping and restaurants and takeout food, super convenient. It's also very nice just to have a view of the Bay Area, and uh, yeah. So this is what the lobby looks like for Tower A. It's very nice. Very, very nice, like a five-star hotel type of feeling. Like Las Vegas, five-star hotel type of feeling for a lobby. But uh, yeah, you're not gonna be living in the lobby though, so you gotta like the unit and the amenities. But uh, it's worth showing you this, because yeah. Lobbies make an impression, don't they? Oh yeah. About to go check out the mail room where our bills are going to be sent. Da -da -da -da. Uh, I wish my, I wish the condominiums looked like the lobby. <laughs> so that's what the mail room looks like. I like the the large type font. It's hard to miss miss where it is. But uh, yeah, cool. Oh, an AC is in there. What the garbage room looks like, as we can see up there. Do do do. One on every level. The elevators look like and the uh, hallways, so they are pretty nice. Really nice finishings for sure. Shore residences, there are six elevators and all of the towers here are actually interconnected on the second floor. How many towers are in Shore residences? Four. So it's ABCD. ABCD, four towers at Shore residences, all interconnected on the second floor. That's great, so convenient. We're right in the middle of all of the towers right now. They're in between tower A and B. It looks like it's about to rain, so. But yeah, this is a very nice uh, pool set up here. Very cool. Wow. Yeah, it's very cool. It's like in between all the towers. Uh, that's a very unique uh, design and build. Looks like they have a playground up there. Very nice. Just check this out over here real quick. Beautiful. Very, very, very nice pool, that's for sure. Got some fake grass right here. So it's like a giant uh, place to walk your dog or something. But yeah, this is super nice to just come out probably during the day and or at night and just hang. Looks like they've got like a, a rock set up right there and a slide. So that's cool. Can't wait to see what that's about. Oh yeah, that's very cool. I really like that. It says a really like resort style vibe and theme for sure. Definitely like, 
you're on a vacation, like living set up in style, 100% resort style and themed. So this is a pretty cool structure just right in front of us. So to my right, there's a playground, like a slide and stuff like that. We're headed towards Tower C to check out the gym right here. And uh, yeah, but that's just a really cool design. I like that a lot. Like a half oval shaped setup and situation here. I wonder if that's like an events room right here we're headed approaching towards. Oh, there's another playground even farther over there. So that's cool. It's like an outdoor lobby. Very nice. Go to the gym first. Go that way? Okay. Gonna head to the gym. Check that out. But the outdoor lobby, the amenities here I really like a lot. Uh, there's another slide oh, and playground and pool over there. Wow. So I think we only saw half of it. Yeah, what we just saw I think was only half or 50% of like the amenities for pools and playgrounds because I saw like a whole nother thing like right in front of me that we didn't even look at yet. So that's pretty cool. Really quickly showing you the function room. It's just like a giant, beautiful room with floor to ceiling windows if you ever have a birthday party or some other type of event. So again, just showing you the finishings of the elevator slash hallway. It's quite nice. So I'm really digging the gym here. Super nice, very big. Give you a perspective. Very large gym here at Shore Residences. Really feeling it. Looks like they've got lots of cardio equipment, lots of mirrors, way more square footage dedicated to the gym. So that's something I don't normally see. I gotta check out how heavy those dumbbells are. Are those 25? About to find out. Yeah, oh, they're just, they're in pounds. Okay, I didn't think I'd see that before I went back to the US. They're actually not in kilos. That's the first time I've seen that. So those are 25 kilos or basically 50 pounds. That's cool. That's the first time I've seen a pull-up bar like that in like seven or eight months since I left the US. Love it. So we're back outside on the second floor and uh, SMDC does an amazing job with amenities. That's for darn sure. So we're gonna see what else they got going on over here. Wow. Uh, playground, whoa, <laughs> it's destroyed my ankle, but we're good. Uh, no instant reflexes that time. Way too in the zone and focus, but uh, yeah, let's check out the pool over here. This one's closed, but I definitely still need to take a look at it. It looks really nice. They're just doing some maintenance on top of the uh, the rock right here. So that's pretty cool though. It's got a slide and that looks really fun. Nice. Got another large pool right here. And then tennis court slash badminton. Actually looks a little more like badminton. So that's pretty cool. Me and I love badminton. What's up guys? Got basketball, half basketball court. We're about to see right here. Let's check this out. Nice. Got some plants happening they have like a oh i like it very nice they have like a lap pool over here as well the amenities here are so stacked so many amenities there's another pool like on the other side of this patch of soccer soccer field football field there's like another pool on that side as well so there's just like a thousand options for where you want to swim <laughs> kind of looking up and bringing it down there's just we're just surrounded like by a square of buildings so like we're inside an empty square the perimeter is all buildings and uh it's cool. There's like a giant rectangle borderline pool with all the amenities of so the style and the plan and the layout. It's very cool, very resort-like. I like it. I like the theme a lot. It's nice to feel like you live at a place where you're on vacation all the time. And it's the place is also very close being by Manila Bay to the casinos like the Okada Manila, of course, and Conrad Hilton and many other casinos. Uh, the Something of Dreams, City of Dreams is what it's called. Yeah. So and Solaire, I think. But uh, yeah, and Mall of Asia and Ikea. So very, uh, and very close to the airport as well. So that's why City of Pasai also has the Newport City is pretty close. It was within Pasai, I think. Newport City is within Pasai as well, just like whereabouts we are right now. So yeah, this, uh, this area has a lot to offer. This place, the amenities are stacked and the uh, prices are very reasonable for furnished and unfurnished. So definitely had to be something to check out. Glad I'm here looking at it. Just check out that architecture. The tile is very uh, beautiful as well. I just love that. It looks so nice. So cool. What's up, guys? Justin here. Welcome to today's vlog. So I'm currently in the Shore Residences looking at a furnished one-bedroom apartment. And this is in the city of Pasai uh, over by uh, Manila Bay. And it has a balcony. Uh, the builder is SMDC. So uh, yeah, 27 square meters. So a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, once again, the asking is 25,000 pesos, fully furnished. And uh, yeah, the location is interesting. I think the city of Pasai has a lot to offer. So uh, it looks like a washing machine is included in the bathroom right here. And a pretty good size. Got a hot water heater. And uh, 
yeah, basic kind of, you know, mid-range finishings. And um, standard white flower, white flower, white tile floor. <laughs> and uh, cool. They got a sofa in here. And the one bedroom, they call it a one bedroom, but um, it's more of a studio. They kind of just put a giant wall right there and call it a one bedroom. But uh, yeah, so it's technically in my mind, it's a studio with a wall. Uh, they got a split AC unit, TCL inverter, so that's good. I think the inverter tech saves some money on electric cost. They managed to get a queen size bed in here with a frame, some artwork. But uh, yeah, the view looks pretty good. I'm gonna try and get outside here. Okay, just giving you one more perspective on this place from this point of view. One thing I didn't show you initially was the mirror wardrobe. So yeah, it uh, can hold a lot of space. So my, me personally, if this was a bare unit, I would just scratch the wall. So I would just ditch the wall and just furnish it a bit differently and save, take the 7,000 a month savings if it were me personally, but it's good to get in here and take a look at a unit while you have the ability to do so. So. Yeah, but let's uh, go check out the amenities and see what else this building by SMDC has to offer. Okay, really nice place, really nice lobby. Um, for me personally, I'd probably lean towards an unfurnished apartment because it's 18,000 if I was going to ever rent here. And um, But the one I saw today gave me a ton of perspective for sure. And uh, the leasing agent who assisted me today, thank you so much, you were very, very helpful. I really appreciate the very thorough uh, walkthrough. Very, very helpful, so. But yeah, this was uh, fantastic. All right, if you got value out of today's vlog, please consider subscribing. 80% of my viewers are not subscribed. Become one of the 20 percenters. Thank you to the 20 percenters who are already subscribed. And uh, yeah, you guys rock. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.